As the cinema begins, we meet Sam, a young woman. She was at home with her elder sister. While Sam is at work, her older sister pays her a visit. She says, I couldn't sleep, and I don't feel drowsy. My bed is filled with odd whispers. Sam goes to her room to peek beneath her bed when she hears it, but there is nothing there. Sam assures her that nothing is hidden beneath her bed. As a result, go to bed peacefully. She falls asleep after putting herself to sleep. While Sam was sleeping, someone knocked on their door. Sam wakes up. A lady was outdoors when she opened the door. She was pleading with her to assist her. My car is wrecked, and my phone is dead, according to the lady. Is it possible for me to call you on your phone? Sam requests that she leave right away. She wasn't feeling well, and was experiencing some difficulties. Sam's older sister also makes an appearance. She claims that she has now heard someone's voice. A man sits in their residence, which Sam notices. She is terrified when she sees it and hides with her sister in a room. In truth, the lady and the man were a couple, a homicidal couple. People are kidnapped and murdered by them. They've arrived to take those, sisters. Denise was the lady's name, and Denise's husband is looking for them in their room. Those sisters were tucked away under the bed. Denise's husband, on the other hand, comes discovers them, and kidnaps them. Sam wakes up in the trunk of her car. They were kidnapped and taken somewhere by that murderous duo. Sam discovers a rod and frees herself from it. She slams into the rod on the tire of that car, which causes the tire to burst and the car to come to a halt. Sam strikes Denise's husband when he unlocks the car boot and flees. Denise is asked to accompany her by the man. Denise begins pursuing her. When Denise arrives, Sam hides behind a tree. Sam smacks her in the head with a rod. Denise stabs her with a knife after she injures her head. Her stomach is stabbed by the knife. Sam flees the scene, she wound bleeding profusely. In the meantime, she finds Denise's husband standing in front of her. She is afraid of him and flees when she sees him. Denise's husband tries to apprehend her but is unsuccessful. While sprinting, Sam falls into a ditch. She becomes more and more hurt. She manages to get out of the rut and move forward. Meanwhile, she observes that she's heading back to the spot where she hit Denise. She had no idea what was going on. Even so, she keeps moving forward. She comes to a road with a board and continues walking. She discovers that she can get assistance from people in the area. As Sam advances, he finds a house. She knocked on the door but received no response. When Sam notices it, he enters the house and begins searching for the medications. A house door, on the other hand, closes automatically. Sam ignores it, believing that the wind may have caused it to close. The residents of the house appear out of nowhere. When Sam sees who that family is, she realizes who they are. Denise and her husband are the ones in question. It meant she was fleeing from the person with whom she was currently staying in their home. As he watches all of this, Sam becomes afraid. She hurries into the bathroom. The duo begins to converse, and Denise's husband grows enraged. After warning Denise, he departs. Denise's hubby was standing somewhere while Sam makes his way to the storeroom and hides. The wall had a hole in it. Because of it, Sam could see everything. Meanwhile, a man who was once their buddy arrives. Sam was going through the inventory in the storeroom. She discovers a plethora of IDs and personal items belonging to a variety of females. When Sam sees it, he knows the pair has a history of murdering young women. Sam finds a needle and sews her wound with it. At night, they drink a lot of alcohol. When it's done, their companion goes to get some beer. Then he sees Sam's eyes through the hole. Sam becomes concerned and alerts them about something he has seen in the storeroom. Denise's spouse isn't convinced. He believes he is inebriated, which is why he is saying this. In a joking manner, their pal remarks, I know your secret. Denise's husband believes he was aware that we killed girls after apprehending them. Their belongings are kept in the storage room. What secret do you have about me? Asks Denise's husband. 
His pal tells him, leave it, I was only joking. This time, Denise's spouse does not believe in him. He kills himself by striking his skull with a rod. Denise is enraged by this behavior. Sam is also terrified as she watches everything unfold in front of her. Meanwhile, Denise's husband begins chainsaw chopping his friend's body. When Sam hears Chainsaw's voice, she closes her eyes. After slicing his body into several pieces, Denise's husband loads it into his car and drives away. Sam tries to open the storeroom's door. However, the phone was locked, and Sam could hear the ringing. She calls the cops, but she doesn't know where to send them because she doesn't know the address. The most concerning aspect is that the phone dies. The connection is lost. Denise's husband had left her alone at home while he went to dispose of the body. Sam notices her elder sister attempting to flee Denise. When Sam's sister notices her, she tells her to yell and open the door. The door was locked, as I previously stated. Denise seizes her sister and stabs her to death. Sam witnesses her elder sister's death and is powerless to intervene. Because the door was locked, I had to come up with a way to save her. Sam loses her bravery and passes out. That house is suddenly invaded by a demonic force. It makes an attempt to frighten Denise. Denise is uncomfortable and tries to leave. Meanwhile, she is possessed by demonic power. Denise's husband returns home to find his wife standing somewhere. What are you doing? He asks Denise when he sees it. Are you alright? When Denise turns around, he notices her eyes are bloodshot. She also flashed a creepy grin. Meanwhile, she uses a knife to sever her neck. She passes away. Denise's husband is taken aback when he sees this. In the meantime, he hears a demonic voice from the storeroom. He goes there to see what's going on. The demonic power screams as he opens the door. He is terrified as a result of it. After that, he considers smashing their door open with an axe. When he makes an attempt to do so, the demonic power knocks him out. He sustains an injury. There were many souls in front of him when he stood up. These were the souls of the young women he had murdered. Those souls will now seek vengeance on him for what he has done to them. Sam wakes up and notices a soul. Sam emerges after that soul opens the door. She notices her elder sister's body on the ground. She was brutally murdered. Sam begins to cry when she sees this, and a soul appears in front of her. Sam is touched by the soul, who tells her that you died in the storeroom. Your soul has now been revealed. Don't worry about your sister, she's in good hands with her mother. They were in a different world. The police arrive the next morning and remove the bodies. Sam is startled awake. Her eyes were the color of blood. Her soul has actually entered her body. She's now going to murder everyone. Those who kidnap or kidnap girls and then murder them the film ends here. Thank you for watching.